to the next episode of Miller vs. Ira. Um, I know it's been a while. Been through a lot. A lot of stuff has happened. So I haven't had a lot of time to, uh, to get to these videos. Uh, now tonight, for instance, I had a DJ. And then I got home to watch the end of the Home Run Derby. And uh, I read 43 emails because all of you jackasses don't know how to put all your thoughts into one fantasy post. Okay, there's seven rule changes. Why can't you reply to them all together? Oh, no, no, we have to reply to them separately and blow up Miller's email. I, I don't understand how that makes any sense. But anyway. Um, <laughs> wait, Jason, aren't you going to talk about the elephant in the room? Wait, is, is your mom in the room? I, I don't understand. No, no, no. I'm talking about why it's been such a long time since you made a video, okay? You've been gone for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you got dumped. <laughs> LMFAO. <laughs> I didn't get dumped. It was a mutual decision. And did you just spell that with initials? You're so freaking weird. Oh, is Jason lonely now? As he said, you, you want me to play the violin for you to go along with your wet burger and your cry fries? <laughs> Moving on. Andy's slow start basically freaked him out and he made all kinds of trades and that's basically what we're here to talk about is Andy's trades because essentially if you take away the people that he traded back for or got rid of this is what he ended up with he traded Star um, Starling Marte, Dylan Bundy, Jacoby Ellsbury, Josh Hamilton, Mark Reynolds, Mike Trout, and Mike Moustakas. Four. This is what he got back for all that. Buster Posey, Hunter Pence, Jay Bruce, Will Myers, and Nick Franklin. I'm not counting Pujols in that because he never left him. Basically, he started with him, he traded him, he got him back. So, there you go. I mean, I don't need to say it again. <laughs> if he wouldn't have freaked out and made all those trades, I, I really believe he would have... I don't know if he would have... He'd be closer to a playoff spot, let's put it that way. Because his pitching isn't that bad. It's been his offense, but he just did, he was too impatient. And then he blew it up too quick. And he didn't... If he just would have stayed the course, I think he would have been okay. But instead, he did not. And... Now he's in, a, he's in a lot of trouble. You can't, you can't say that. Andy had to do something. He was just fading into oblivion. Yes, Ira, he was he was fading. But the reason why I had him ranked so high before the season started was is because I thought he would make the right free agent moves to improve his pitching staff, which did not look good beforehand, and then his offense would hit. Instead, what he did was is that he just didn't fill in the slots around it. Like, I, I would have tried to pick up some reserve guys, some extra bench guys to try to make that stronger so that you could sit there and have, you know, a Josh Hamilton on the bench until he starts hitting or something like that. But he really didn't do that. He didn't address the offense because I guess he just assumed they were going to start hitting. And they never hit. And that's kind of where he, he is where he is now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You're so wrong. It's typical. Typical Jason. So wrong. Didn't work out for him because he's 30 games out of a playoff spot with six weeks to go. Well, it's easy for you to say because your guys have overachieved all season. About me, it's about Andy. Andy's team's done. There's nothing he can do. So, let's move on to Bob. <laughs> this should be good. <laughs> Whenever I talk to anybody about Bob's team, basically they say, oh, well, well, Bob's team does it with small ball. Well, I don't think he does. He's first in triples. That's the only offensive category he's first in. The only other offensive category he's above top four in, again, these are Roto stats, I know Ben Lucia hates them, but these are the Roto stats, is singles, which he's third in. He's fourth in batting average, seventh in on-base percentage, he's last in steals, which isn't something you would say for someone who is a, quote, small ball player, unquote. Um, next to last in homers, but yeah, you know, we, we already knew that. So his offense isn't that great, it's kind of middle of the road if you average everything together. Uh, basically, he's doing it with the pitching staff. I mean, he's first in ERA. Uh, complete games and shutouts, he's also first in. And like like players like Hartlob and me, we both have, well, I guess Hartlob's got two complete games this week, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But going into this week, 
we each had one complete game and one shutout. So when you're playing Bob, who's got 10 complete games and seven shutouts, I'm not sure if those numbers are exactly right, but it's something along those lines. That's all, you know, those are wins. I mean, when you're playing guys who just don't get complete games and shutouts, that's, that's another, you know, I mean, right now, I mean, Bob, again, not counting this week, because this week, after this week, stuff's going to change. But, I mean, right now, Bob's like, you know, let me see, something like 12 games up on me or something like that. I mean, that has a lot to do with it. So, um, basically, it, it's his pitching staff that's carrying him. Uh, I don't think it really matters because I think those top four teams are just better than everybody else. And I don't think there's really a dominant team of those four. I think they're in a dogfight. Really, until the end. Okay, can you please watch the dogfight references? Okay, I'm an Eagles fan. It's kind of a touchy subject. Okay. And and I just don't think you give Bob enough credit. I mean, really. I think he's just a winner. He just wins. That's all that matter. Who cares about all the stats? He's just a winner. Wait. No. Nah. No. Nah. Miranda. 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 Absolute bullhock.